An intense scene unraveling on Billings West End tonight. A high speed chase involving at least one shooting suspect has now turned into a standoff. Now that standoff now entering its third hour with two people holed up in a Billings West End home. Well, this hour we also know a body has been discovered in the van that the suspects crashed when this situation all started. Police are dealing with multiple crime scenes. We begin tonight with Q2 Shaquille Cozart, who is live on scene from the standoff on the northwest side of Billing Shack. Thanks, Janelle. Well, there are multiple law enforcement agencies on the scene here today at Ridgewood Lane, including the Billings Police Department, the Yellowstone County Sheriff's Office, the Billings Bomb Squad, and the Billings SWAT team. Now, so far, I've seen the Billings Bomb Squad deliver food and cigarettes to the two suspects, one male, one female, to the house to the right of me. Now, it also seems that Billings Police are having trouble communicating with the two suspects. Now, earlier today, Chief Rich St. John of the Yellowstone County Sheriff's Office said that he is not 100% sure if the suspects, if there are hostages in the home, excuse me. But he also said that he had more information as to who the two suspects could be. That this individual, the male specifically, is potentially a suspect in our shooting in the 4100 block of King Avenue East and a subsequent uh, search of the van that was crashed and abandoned. Uh, uh, officers and deputies discovered a body in there. So we have multiple crime scenes right now, uh, but the focus as we speak is to get this situation resolved peacefully and then we'll sort all, out all the rest from there. Now the scene is still very active and at this time they're still under investigation and the story is still developing. But stay tuned online and on air for more updates. Reporting in Billings, I'm Shaquille Kozart with MTN News. All right, thanks so much, Shaq. Again, multiple crime scenes and an ongoing standoff at this hour on Billings West End. Again, Chief St. John says one of the suspects holed up in the house could be involved in Monday's shooting on King Avenue that sent one woman to the hospital after she was shot in the head. And authorities are also investigating a second crime scene just blocks away from the standoff. That's where the suspects crashed a van and police found a body inside. We'll of course continue to follow developments at KTVQ.com and Russ Riesinger will have the very latest tonight at 10 o'clock right here on Q2.